Hi, so how do we connect PoE Karma? Here we have a PoE Karma, and we have already cable connected to that camera. Obviously, PoE Karma is nothing else, just a network camera, and uh, PoE is the way we power up that camera. So power goes over the network. So network cable is connected to camera, and the other end of that cable may be connected to a few different things. So one option is we connecting that camera to the, see there's a power there, we connecting that camera to the PoE switch and you can see the green LED which means that uh, PoE power is already uh, being sent to the camera. And then from that switch cable will go obviously to our NVR or DVR, like this one. Although this DVR, this NVR has uh, its own switch, but forget this, assume that this is not there. So that's where you could connect the DVR and VR to the network. Another way of connecting uh, IP camera is to connect camera to the PoE injector. You can see there's a PoE, there is LAN. So this is PoE, this is LAN. So the camera goes there and LAN goes from here and other end of this cable can go to switch or can go to NVR depending how we're connecting. And usually we'll go to some sort of switch which doesn't have to be PoE switch then because you are injecting PoE on this in this device. This obviously must have a power connected, which is not at the moment connected, but doesn't matter. That's, that's how you do that. So camera goes to PoE socket on the injector and then a cable between PoE injector and a switch or NVR DVR goes to LAN. And the third way of connecting uh, IP PoE camera is to connect it directly to the NVR which has a built-in PoE switch. So there is an NVR. It's a, a small version of Hick Vision. Very simple one. That's obviously working nicely. And there is a switch with a PoE power. You basically plug in that camera there. When this is power up, the power will be sent to camera and camera will be recording uh, and working. Um, and this is basically how we wire PoE cameras. So just recap the whole thing through the PoE switch, through the PoE injector, or directly to the NVR, which has a built in switch. An uh, important thing to remember that all the cables which are using, Ethernet cables which are using to connect PoE cameras, they must be straight through cables, so called straight through. So if you look at the plug, both plugs, sorry, both plugs, let's see if the focus will catch up with that. I'm not sure if it will. Well, it's too close, probably. Anyway, uh, what it means that pin one, there's eight pins on each of them. Straight to cable means that uh, uh, pin 1 goes to pin 1, pin 2 to pin 2, pin 3 to pin 3, and so on and so on. So it's a straight through connection. Obviously you don't have to use uh, ready-made cables, you can make your own. But you need a crimper, plug, uh, RG45 plugs and a CAT5 enhanced cable. You can use CAT5, but can CAT5 enhanced is better. So basically that's how you connect uh, PoE cameras. Thank you. If you would like to learn more about uh, configuration installation of IP cameras, uh, NVRs, DVRs, uh, please visit our website ipcamerahelper.com. Also, if you would like to become a CCTV engineer, you will find uh, useful information there. Thank you.